hi everyone in this video i am going to explain you about the calculation of some example problem on the bootstrap so a question was given like this the circuit shown in the figure this is the figure which is nothing but a bootstrap circuit diagram from the standard resistance and capacitance which is a variation of the bootstrap which avoids the need of voltage source neither side of which is grounded neither side of which is grounded show that precise linearity results if the amplifier gain is a is equal to 1 plus r2 by r1 okay so in the bootstrap we know the gain is nothing but 1 in the miller it was gain is equal to minus infinity but in bootstrap we already studied that a is equal to gain is equal to approximately 1 and we have also seen a capacitor which is there between the input and output connections later that is taken from here input to ground okay which is used for the charging and discharging so that the time base oscillations are going to be generated so the output voltage will be linear the output voltage will be linear if the input voltage is linear so output voltage will be linear if the input voltage is linear for the input voltage to be linear for the input voltage to be linear the current following through the capacitor the current flowing through the capacitor should be constant we have already noted all these points then we were discussing the concept so the, for the output voltage to be linear output voltage is linear if the input voltage is linear that is one point and the second thing is the input voltage to be linear so that can be obtained by taking the current which is flowing through the capacitor should be constant okay so the current flowing through flowing through capacitor should be constant that is ic should be constant so let us take the kvl equation across this at the input side okay kvl equation at this point we can write ic ic is the current which is leaving this node so ic is equal to apply kvl at input so ic is equal to v minus vi by r1 plus v not minus v1 v1 v not minus vi by r2 okay so from here from here or here we can write it as v minus v minus vi by r1 plus v not minus vi by r2 okay <clears throat> if you simplify this that is equal to v by r1 plus a minus 1 by r2 minus 1 by r1 into vi okay that we already know 
V naught by V i is equal to A. Gain is nothing but output voltage by input voltage. Okay. So, since V i varies with the time linearly, since V i varies linearly for I c to be constant, whatever the what is our aim if ic is constant then we can say that there is there is a linear increment in the capacitor okay so that's why we have always taking that the ic should be constant the efficient of vi must be zero the coefficient of vi the coefficient of vi must be Zero. So that is a minus one by r one, a minus one by r two, minus one by r one is equal to zero. That is, if you simplify this, a minus one by r two is equal to one by r one. So a is equal to one plus r two by r one. This is the way how we have got this expression a is equal to one plus r two by r one. Okay, if both are having same resistances, then we will be having a gain of two. If they are different, if r one is very less and r two is more, then it is more than one. If r one is high and r two is very low, then we will get a small change in the one i one. Okay, so this is the gain A for this circuit, whatever bootstrap voltage, we have, whatever the bootstrap new circuit we have got, so that A is equal to one plus R two by R one. Thank you.